today we are going to talk about one of the important function in sql server which is iif function this function is very useful while working with the conditional section of a query so when you have a query and you know you, you have to write a conditional statement so you can go with the case statement right you can also go with a if function this function is very easy to use and code wise if you observe the it will require only three parameter and it will be very easy to be honest to write and it will also save the space so basically this function requires three parameter the first parameter is a condition second is a true value and the third one is a false value right so how does it work so we need to pass a condition here if the condition is true then it will return the second value that is a true value if condition is false then it will return the third value that is a false value right great so this function is very simple to use and it will uh, it will reduce our length of code right and we can understand it as follow okay let's say i am writing a query and i have to use the condition like if the value is 1 like this if this for understanding purpose if i'm writing 1 equal to 1 then this condition will always be true then it should return me x it, it should return me true for example if 1 equal to 1 which will always be true so it will return me the second value otherwise false so i have the code written like this so what will be my output my output will be true because 1 plus 1 equal to 1 will always be true if i make to 0 so this condition will always become false so i will always get the second value right so this is a simple example of a if statement you can also uh, write in a more generalized way let's say if i'm defining one variable declare i this is int and default value is one and i'm writing the same code again based on a value it will return me output let's say if i am passing the one so what will i get i will get the false because one equal to zero which will be false and if i am going to make it zero and let's see the result so i will get the output as a true because the one zero equal to zero will always be true great we can also use it in a query correct so we can also have a feature to use uh, as is a as the conditional next state if statement right so let's try to understand how we can do that so if we want to use as a nested we need to use simply like this we need to replace this if block like this let's say if i'm specifying if condition one is true like this here if one equal to one then it, it is giving me result as a true right or else false so i am changing here one more condition right here again i am writing condition if one equal to one then again this condition should happen so here i am writing one equal to one then true second likewise we can replace the conditional part and we can have a multiple nested statement here if i run this query i will see the output as a true too because what happened here first of all it checked that this value one equal to one which is true then it will go to the first true section here then again it will come here and it will see there is a one more if statement so it's a nested if so again it will evaluate the condition and the condition after evaluating it will think that this is a true value so it will return you a second value of a 
function right so this is a simple function which is a if function hope you guys understand and if you guys have any kind of doubt regarding the if function please don't forget to comment and message me i will definitely reply and if you still need more uh, information about this function please don't hesitate to ask over the channel to the comment and if you like our video please don't forget to share and subscribe with your friend and thanks for watching have a great day